So now that I can resize, you will see that it will snap to each uh, grid part. So it's uh, it looks like it's snapping almost. Uh, let's just go ahead and turn these two off. And let's just increase these size to 50 by 50. Okay, so you can see that the uh, element is now snapping to this grid. Uh, it's a 50 by 50 grid that it's snapping to. Um, so um, it just it will just snap in the X and Y axis. Now we do have a problem here that we have uh, this uh, absolutely tiny now, um, and you can go ahead and fix that with the uh, minimum width and the minimum height option, uh, which we're going to be taking a look at a bit later. Now let's just say you had this object and you wanted to only allow resizing with on a particular angle of this. So you wanted this to be a handle here and this to be a handle, but you didn't want these two here to be handles, uh, which at the moment can't because they are at the end of the uh, document. So let's just say I only wanted this right hand side uh, to be draggable and I didn't want it to be able to uh, resize downwards. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at the handle option now. So let's go. So it's the handles option. And in here you can uh, specify a comma separated list of values, um, all being their um, direction. So for example, you could have uh, N for north, uh, E for east, S for south, and W for west. And you can specify these uh, comma separated. So you can choose uh, where you want it to be draggable from. So for example, if I was just to say east, that would be the very right hand side uh, here. You'll also notice that the uh, small resizing triangle has gone as well. That's because we've now specified the handles that this can be resized from and can no longer be resized from here. So, for example, if I was to hover over this bottom one, you can see that I can no longer resize this here or at the corner as well. However, I can go ahead and resize from the east. Now, if I wanted, for example, it to be resizable from the east and the southeast, which will be this corner here, I can go ahead and comma separate SE. Now, this will allow me to uh, separate from the east and the and the southeast as well here. So you can see that um, the uh, little triangle is back because we can now resize from the corner. Uh, we can resize downwards like this. Uh, however, obviously we can't grab it by this edge. So this is a uh, comma separated list of values. The values that are available to use are obviously north, east, south and west. You could have north, east, south, uh, sorry, south, east, south, west, uh, blah, 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 and so on. So you can, you can define, you know, the options that you uh, choose. Now you can also just go ahead and specify all here. And what all will do is it will allow it to be dragged from all uh, angles again. Now you'll notice that this time, uh, instead of not, if we didn't include this option, for example, let's just try that. Uh, you can see that I can't actually drag it from this corner. So you can see that I can't actually uh, drag from the uh, west or the north here. So to handle this, I guess, uh, if you'll excuse the pun, you can set all here. So when we refresh, we can actually resize inwards like this and we can resize it anywhere on the page that we like because we've specified uh, all handles available so we can do it from all corners and all edges of this uh, div. So that's the handles which uh, is an extremely uh, powerful um, functionality tool or option when it comes to this. Now let's uh, finally take a look at the max um, options. So the options that we actually have are max height, which we can set a max height. So for example, uh, at the moment we are at 100 pixels by default. So let's say max 200, sorry, not PX. And we'll comma separate and say max or min height as well. So the minimum height I want it to be is 100. And let's go ahead and specify a max width and we'll set this to 200 and also a minimum width as well we'll set this to 100 so essentially what we're doing is we're setting the minimum height and the minimum width to their original values 100 obviously these can be any value uh, you want to set them and the maximum height will be 200 so let's go ahead and refresh you can see that when I drag inwards it doesn't work the minimum width uh, and the minimum height are now 100 so this won't work dragging it in 
when I drag it out you can see it will e it ends at the 200 px margin so now that I've specified a minimum uh, width and a minimum height uh, it's it's constrained to these uh, particular this particular region so we've taken a look now at all the options that I felt were useful to practical applications. Uh, there are a variety of other options which you can go and take a look at in the jQuery documentation. Um, there are also events associated with this. So for example, whilst I'm resizing, uh, an event could take place. So we could, um, for example, as the uh, box is being resized or as the element is being resized, uh, I could go ahead and feed back inside of here or under here the actual size of the box. So there's a variety of things you can do with this. Uh, however, these are the practical applications uh, of uh, or the practical options that you can use uh, within this um, interaction in jQuery UI. So my recommendation would be to go ahead and play around with um, things such as as you're resizing, maybe going and uh, putting the coordinates or the size of the box inside of this div um, while you're resizing it. So, uh, yep, that's all the options that I felt necessary. Uh, like I said, go and take a look at the events uh, and play around with this. Uh, it's an extremely powerful and option-filled uh, interaction.